A local family is speaking out tonight after a car crash shook the lives of a mother and child on Thanksgiving evening. They tell News 3's Danny Valle the holidays will never be the same. When she was only 23. She had her whole life ahead of her. Little Hunter, three months old, he had a long life ahead of him. Ashley Sagler and her son Hunter died from injuries sustained in a car crash on Thanksgiving night. For Ashley's parents, Mitch and Jane, the tragedy of losing their daughter and grandson is a nightmare. I would never think of having to bury my daughter before we went. There's just no words. I'm, I'm hurt. I'm torn. Yes. Not just for Ashley, but for my grandson also. Ashley visited her parents' home for Thanksgiving. Her brother Christopher was helping change Hunter's diaper. I really loved her, and um, she knew I did. When I would have a bad day, she would uh, be there to comfort me and tell me that everything's going to be okay, and I'm really sorry for what you're going through. She was my sidekick. She was, we were inseparable. Where you seen one, you seen the other. Ashley's sister Amy says she'll miss their coffee dates and summer bike rides, but most of all, each other's support. The loss of her nephew Hunter makes reality unbearable. I still don't want to accept the fact that they're gone. I'm having a hard time dealing with this. So is her brother Jimmy, who was working in Chicago at the time. Watching people that you love and that you know you spend so much time with, um, it's devastating. Jane held her grandson and handed him off to her daughter before they left. Fifteen minutes later, the crash happened. Twenty-four hours later, Ashley and Hunter were dead. I worry about my other grandchildren that survived. It. They're going to be looking for their mama. The family started to go fund me to raise money for both funerals. They remember Ashley as a good mother with a vibrant spirit. And Thanksgiving will only serve as a painful reminder of the day a family was broken. Holidays will never be the same anymore. In Jackson County, Danny Valle, News 3. Both funerals are set for Friday. Anyone wishing to make a donation to the family can visit Pettit Funeral Home in Murfreesboro or the GoFundMe page. We will have a link to that page at WSILTV.com.